Hi everyone. In this video today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the mole remover pen. I'm going to remove the fine needle from the pen and then I'm going to load on the bigger needle. I'm going to be using this on some different parts of my face like my mole and some of those larger bumps. And I just need to screw this one into the pen. Now I'm going to sanitize the portion of my face that I'm going to be doing as well as the pen. I'm going to turn it on, make sure that the setting is right, and then I'm going to just very lightly tap the tip of the pen onto one of these bumps here. I worked on the mole earlier before this. So as you can see, I'm actually going over another bump that I had done the other day and the scab fell off. There was just a little bit of a bump left. So I decided I was just going to work on this one and make sure that it was completely gone. Maybe that's how they were supposed to be. I was using that fine needle and it just seemed to rip my skin apart. This actually seems to be burning like it should. Let's try this one. Smells yummy. See, the problem is, is like you just want to keep doing it. Like you keep seeing all these things that you're like, I don't want this on my face anymore. And then I get out of hand. So I need to do this. Done. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Because I could go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. While it's still kind of oozy, I'm going to tap it off with some... Witch hazel, because I want to clean this area now. I'm just gonna dab. I don't wanna I don't wanna brush it back and forth because I don't wanna make this worse. And I could do it to these others, but they like didn't bleed this time. I swear to God, it is the needle. FYI, don't use the fine needle because that seems to be worse than the bigger needles. What I'm gonna do after I've cleaned that, and I've cleaned my hands, let me just clean my hands real quick. I wanna put on this correct cream. Now, I'm gonna list the, I know, isn't that dirty? Don't look at my dirty bathroom. It's not really dirty, it's just a little boy lives here, okay? I'm gonna list the essential oils that are in this here, and I do believe, whoa, this helps a little bit. Somebody else asked me on my last video if I was dry healing, and the answer is yes. While it's an open wound, I'm putting something good on it, like these essential oils. So I want to make sure that, you know, before it starts scabbing, that I put something really good on it so that hopefully it won't scar me too bad. And then I do the dry healing. So just so you know that that's pretty much how I'm doing that. And these don't seem to be open at this time like they were the other day. They're not bleeding and they weren't probably supposed to bleed like that. So that fine needle probably did... Uh, heck of a job on my face as you can see look at this i probably will scar mm -hmm. that's probably going to scar like that but fortunately i'll be able to cover that with makeup and i know that i'm looking at myself here while i'm talking to you and i shouldn't do that because they say that people hate that but i'm trying to look at it as i'm talking to you at the same time to kind of explain to you what i'm seeing they do say you have to do to treatment. So I want to make sure that I'm going to give this a try for two times and I'm just going to do it with the bigger needle like this because I think that is the trick. I don't ever want to do that fine needle again, ever. So 
Yeah, because this actually burned it just the way it should. So um, I'm kind of happy with that, and we'll see where this goes. I might have to do like three or four more times on this one, but it is getting smaller. Okay, so that's pretty much it for me. I don't really think there's much more that I can show you at this point. Um, I'm not going to cover this up with a Band-Aid. Not yet. Depending on what it looks like tomorrow, once it starts to scab up, I might have to put something on it because I am going to my family's tomorrow. So I don't know if I want them to see me like this. It's embarrassing when it was the other way the other day. Like this is nothing. If I had done that with the fine needle the other day, it would have like killed me. Like I really would have had what I look like the other day. So I'm pretty pleased with these and how they turned out today. After burning them, there's no bleeding. So thank God for that. And this was a new one that I didn't even do yet. So it turned out pretty good. We'll see how this goes again. And I'm just keeping you up to date. As you can see, the other ones are starting to clear up. And once my scabs came off today, that is one thing I do want to say is that once my scabs came off today, I did put this on. Because again, I want to make sure that I'm putting good healthy ingredients into my face as um as it's healing so maybe that will take away from the scarring process i don't know but we'll see and i'll keep you posted